this industry if you don't work hard if you don't give your best if you don't push if you don't have the greed it'll chuck you out uh, it doesn't matter that how many hits you have given the next friday can change you again it is it is loving but at the same time it is ruthless also Since 2020, Akshay Kumar has had six releases ranging from movies that have directly released on OTT platforms or theatrical ones. The man has reached a stature in his career where there is an expectation of how his movies will fare at the box office, especially known to be one of the biggest draws from the Hindi film industry. Akshay was the only individual who had a blockbuster in his name in the world post the pandemic. There were articles also floating around whether Akshay Kumar is the only guarantee for Hindi cinema at the box office. But as is the case of what Akshay Kumar expanded upon about the film industry in the introduction, these journeys always oscillate, having many highs and many lows. So has been the case of his films that have recently released in theaters. Whether it be Bachchan Pandey or Prithvi Raj, both films were presented on a huge scale, heavily advertised and tanked miserably, not being able to recover its budget or the hefty asking price of the star. This has to do with several reasons. The main, of course, being the underwhelming scripts of these films, but more importantly, the saturation of appearance. is of akshay kumar one of my favorite ventures involving akshay kumar out of the six that released post 2020 was the anand elrai directed film atrangire a film that genuinely portrayed something unique in the form of a romantic drama and i'll be honest to confess that i love the fact that akshay kumar resonated with the storyline and appeared in a convincing cameo in the film leading to a climax that many people replay even now due to the beautiful combination of a great reveal and ar rahman's melodious background score contributed for the film Anand El Rai has created a niche for himself with impactful heartland Indian stories. Whether it be about relationships, politics or family dynamics, he has expanded upon the same and for the most part with flying colors. As I saw the Raksha Bandhan trailer, the second collaboration of Akshay Kumar and Anand El Rai, is this combination exactly what Akshay Kumar needs right now? not having the pressure of a mass entertainer where he has to be the main draw and everyone just waits for the box office numbers to come out and equate it to the film's quality is the heartfelt family entertainer exactly the breezy viewing the audience demands is the competition with lal singh chadda going to hamper its performance are the kind of films like toilet and padman done and dusted all of these aspects rushed through my mind as i saw the trailer of raksha bandhan let's get to brass tacks and talk about what i loved and i'm slightly skeptical about with the project what i'm skeptical about bumi pednekar's dialogue delivery the only jarring element at least in terms of performances that i could see in the trailer was the rather loud and animated delivery by bumi pednekar in the initial minutes of the trailer This is further enhanced by the character who is playing her father in the film. I understand that movies are pitched in a commercial way and demand actors to amp up their performances to be slightly dramatic in order to resonate with the masses, but it seemed like the most off-center of the glimpses of the performances I saw in the trailer. One can be expressive yet tone it down to not become absolutely caricaturish. Stereotypes I reiterate that these are all skepticisms because I really can't show shot say how the movie will materialize and I can only comment on what I've seen in the trailer. While the movie does speak about the majority of the country and it would be ignorant of anyone to believe that this is not one of the primary pressures of Indian households across the country. If you think otherwise, you honestly assume that India is your small English speaking bubble on social media. I do hope though that Anand El Rai expands upon the purpose of the sisters being more than just the fate of marriage. I hope that the film in some shape or form expresses on how the four sisters can stand on their two feet individually rather than just being dependent on their brother and handed over to families for marriage the other aspect that i hope the movie does not make a mockery off of is the sibling who slightly is of a heavier set and doesn't restrict her personality to just be a foodie eating everything that she can put her hands on i thought that the point of her nibbling on dog food was slightly cringe ki itna khati hai ki dog food ko bhi nahi chhodti i can only hope and i'm sure it'll be the case that anand el rai has created nuanced personalities with the sisters rather than just being one tone and dated what i liked about it the music 
What we have at least noticed with the case of the music album of Lal Singh Chadda is that Pritham has really conjured up some melodious tracks for the film. Whether it be Kahani or Meki Kara, they really imbibe the theme and vibe of the film and the personality of the protagonist really well. While one can dream of collaborations like Anand L. Rai and A.R. Rahman like Atrangi Re, I'm actually excited about the music that might exist for a movie like Raksha Bandhan. The music being composed by Himesh Reshamya, while he has produced underwhelming music for the last few years with duds like Radhe, Genius and Tera Sarur, his last absolute banger of a music album was Prem Ratan Dhan Payo in 2015, the trailer actually provides us a glimpse of some of the melodious tunes that might be just around the corner, that also might catapult this family entertainer to be worthwhile for the big screen. Anand L. Rai and Heartland If one thing is consistent with Anand L. Rai movies is that he focuses on tier 2, tier 3 cities in his movies. Especially the dynamic in the society or within families, he gets it spot on, infused with humour and emotion that is engaged audiences. Whether it be the Tanu Ved's Manu series or even the first half of Zero, the man just gets the eccentricities of how individuals are shaped up in this country. Especially simple families with simple goals and from humble backgrounds. The fact that this movie is not pretending to be this larger-than-life spectacle, staying grounded in its journey and expanding upon the relationship within the family more than anything else. The Family Dynamic I think for me, the standout roles seem to be portrayed by the eldest sister, Sadia Khatib, who by the way was phenomenal in Shikara. That movie was embroiled in controversy, but this girl did not get the praise that she deserved. Her bond with Akshay Kumar seems to be the core of the movie. Akshay's moustache can be a criticism for the film, but if he does away with it and boasts his salt and pepper look, I think it will account for a great change to how he is perceived in roles. He seems to be in fine form in this film as well, balancing the comedy and emotional moments, a roller coaster of an emotional journey that Anand L. Rai promised us with Atrangi Re seems to be offered here as well. I won't lie, I also chuckled at the TikTok joke and I'm sure you did as well. I actively criticize 80s and 90s movies because the only purpose of women would be to be married off and I hope this movie provides a change regarding the same rather than the same Ghisa Pitawa formula. One can only hope for a heartfelt family entertainer and let's be honest, the trailer does provide the glimpse of exactly that. I think Akshay requires this kind of a carefree venture after there has been so much pressure on him to deliver as a mass commercial hero. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the trailer. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.